Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about excretion in plants. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the excretion and release of substance in plants. Children, you have learnt that a variety of end products are formed during the metabolism and of these nitrogenous wastes are very important. Plants do not have any specific organ to excrete these wastes. As in animals, carbon dioxide, water, ammonia and other nitrogenous wastes are also formed in plants. In the plants, carbon dioxide released during respiration is sent out through a stomata of leaves. Plants discharge the excess of water in the form of water vapor during transpiration by leaves. Due to this, the heat in the plant body is reduced. Even when leaves are absent, as in the germinating seeds, the carbon dioxide formed during respiration is released into the atmosphere. Plants have the capacity to utilize the byproducts of one metabolic activity as a raw material for another metabolic activity. For example, Oxygen released during photosynthesis is utilized for respiration and the carbon dioxide released during respiration is utilized for photosynthesis. Plants can convert nitrogen and ammonia into nitrates. However, several compounds are synthesized by the plants for their own use, especially for their defense. As plants are sessile, means they do not have the capacity to move they cannot defend from the predators by running away majority of plants do not have organs for protection against the herbivores hence several plants prepare chemicals and store them in their roots leaves seeds and even in the stem most of these chemicals are unpleasant to taste and hence the herbivores usually do not prefer to eat such plants some of the chemicals are toxic and may even kill the animal that eats them. Some of the plants secrete chemicals when injured. These chemicals seal the wound and help the plant to recover from the injury. Through the plants produce these chemicals for their use, man has to found other uses from these chemicals. Some of the plants release attractants of other organisms which will help the plants in pollination and seed dispersal or even in their nutrition. For example, plants having root nodules secrete chemicals to attract rhizobia into the surroundings of the root and form a symbiotic relationship with the rhizobium. These compounds are called secondary metabolites. The biochemical substance produced in the plants are of two types. There are primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Food materials like carbohydrates, fats and proteins are the primary metabolites. They are alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums, latex, etc. These are some of the secondary metabolites in plants. Points to be remembered in this lesson are when carbohydrates are oxidized in plants, carbon dioxide and water are formed. The plants use carbon dioxide and water for photosynthesis. Plants can utilize nitrogen and ammonia by nitrifying them. Alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums and latex are secondary metabolic products of the plants. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy.